Libra, how are you? How are you doing? So this is a reading for the 18th of April through to the 25th. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Don't forget to tap the bell notification if you want to know when I'm uploading more content. Thank you for your comments. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three prism oracle, first of all. Okay, trust. Trust is always important in life, especially if we've been betrayed in some way or, you know, if someone's let us down. It's important to learn how to still trust as we go on. Reflection. And I always find this one interesting. A ghost. It hardly shows up on the camera as well, because it's a ghost. <laughs> Trust, reflection, a ghost. Okay, now I'm going to pull three psychic tarot. Ooh, shadow. So shadow work on your shadow self. I get the feeling that you've already been doing some shadow work, which is important in life. Also, the number 18 is jumping out at me. One and eight is nine, which is the most powerful number. So some powerful energy going on here. Foundations and achievements. Foundation and achievements relating to your shadow work. This is also, as you can probably tell if you know tarot, it is the Ten of Cups. It's a it's a image of the Ten of Cups. It's a four. It's number four. But it has the same rainbow as the Ten of Cups does. And the same vibe. Okay? So I am going to say fortune after difficulty. Wrestling with your shadow self. <laughs> is making good things come in for you. Moving on. So having done work on your shadow self gives you the opportunity to move on. Also travelling. In fact, I'm picking up travelling in quite a big way on that. Okay, now some angel wisdom tarot. So the first one out was the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Fire. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Now, it's unlikely that every single thing will apply to you here. But I think the thing that's, a, that's applying strongly is never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. Hmm. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. So this could be the energy that you're moving on from. So, for definitely one of you watching, I'm picking up the feeling that you had the 2.4 picket fence, lovely house. You had the dream, what you thought was a dream. Not, not a dream, not as in a dream, daydream. But you had what you thought was your dream life. 
and it turned out not to be because there was some level of upset that's why the trust card came out in the prison deck straight away learning to trust again after heartbreak great sadness that will heal with time let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges healing misunderstandings being there for those in need and the wheel now the wheel is actually represented on the back of these cards so it's obviously a very important powerful card in this deck a fresh new start or the end of delays sudden or unexpected progress a very positive change in your life travel or a new vehicle well I definitely am picking up on the traveling energy I think that something that happened within this perfect home, perfect marriage, perfect family, take it as it resonates, but something that happened in this situation caused you great heartbreak. And I think it's best that you move to a different county, different state, different country. You're being called to from this reading. Clink. <laughs> okay, so let's go with some Rider Waite Tarot. Yeah, was the harvest worth it? Was the juice worth the squeeze? Was it all worth it? That's exactly what you're thinking right now. Wasted time is a message that I'm getting. You feel like you wasted your time. Well, we never really waste our time. Unless unless you are actually just sitting down watching TV all day. <laughs> that can be wasting time. <laughs> but it also cannot be, depending. You might be learning something. Yes, wounded warrior energy. So you were left out in the cold in the situation. Okay, I'm picking up this, Libra. That someone who you thought was never going to be unfaithful or betray you in another kind of way, um, did. And it, the word I'm getting, excuse me for saying, but it wrecked, it wrecked your dream. And you need to move on from this. Okay, Libra. Yes, because communication is coming in quickly. About this travelling thing. That's what I'm picking up on. Queen of Wands again. So never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. You have a lot of personal power, Libra. Wow, you got through swords again. So definitely heartbreak. And I think it was caused possibly by a fire sign because the Queen of Wands twice. So I think this heartbreak came from, yeah, and fire again. An exuberant, fast moving energy either coming into your life or leaving your life. So this fire sign, I think, is possibly leaving your life. Two that came out there. Wow, two nights in a row. So I think you should be leaving you should be leaving their life quickly if you haven't already. If this is resonating with you, obviously if you're in a great relationship, Libra, and it's going absolutely fantastic, this message isn't for you. But you've got the Queen of Cups um the Queen of Cups, excuse me while I uh, get my words straight. <laughs> the Queen of Cups is a person who trusts their emotional intuition. She's very good with her emotions. And her emotions here are represented by this, the the grandest cup in the entire deck.
I'm picking up a sort of a sadness on that. Mm-hmm. A sadness and a loneliness. No need to be lonely. Because there is victory. There is success. If you believe that you have the ability to make your dreams come true, which you do. I think you're being called to the universe is calling you to dream bigger than you dreamt before. So I wonder what's going to come underneath the Three of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, working on healing that heartbreak. And balance is required. I'm getting the message, seeing things from all sides, having a different perspective on things to the one that you possibly already have or have had. I think you are moving your perspective, changing your perspective. I think there is a link between you, Libra, and the Gemini reading, so maybe you want to go and watch that. Seven of Wands. So the reason, some tricky energy, needing to balance, and needing to stand up for yourself. Okay. So let's clarify. So clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, we've got the King of Swords. So I think that's you in the energy, for sure. You have been thinking, was it all worth it? Wow, Three of Cups on the Five of Pentacles. So being left out from the good times, being left out from the celebrations. But don't worry about being left out in the cold. Because good times and celebrations are coming in. With work. You've got two eights here. Excuse me. You've got two eights. This eight... This Eight of Pentacles is on the Eight of Wands. So communication coming in about work. And you've already got the Eight of Pentacles as well. So that's three eights. So on the Queen of Wands, you've got the Four of Cups. So did I say, did I say fire sign? Did I say it might have been a fire sign that let you down? If, if I, I think I did, but if I didn't, then I am. And you've got the rebirth card on the three of swords. The death card. Wow. Wow. So I am getting a message of deep loss. Someone who maybe moved on to the other side. Someone who passed on is what I'm actually getting a message about. Take it as it resonates. Not all messages can resonate for absolutely everyone. Queen of Cups. On the Knight of Wands. That's the second time you've got the Queen of Cups. So I think there could be a water sign out there coming in for you. Seven of Wands on the Knight of Swords. Now you've already had the Seven, wands, seven of Wands as well. So sticking up for yourself, but also meditation. Meditating to deal with the loss. You've got the Hierophant on the Queen of Cups. 
So this water sign that's coming in isn't necessarily going to be a lover, but they are going to help you learn. They are some type of educator. Like a mentor, that's the word I'm getting. Like a mentor. Yeah, okay, so we've got the five of pentacles again on the three of wands. So someone to help you deal with this feeling of loss. I get the feeling it's quite a deep, it's, yeah, you're going to need help with this. Queen of Pentacles on the Six of Wands. Just before the Eight of Pentacles. So success in growth dealing with this situation. Wow, the King of Pentacles right next to the Queen of Pentacles in the clarifying spots. The King of Pentacles on the Eight of Pentacles. So throwing yourself into work, basically, for your, for, for bank. For bank. <laughs> and the Ace of Pentacles fell out when I said that. So definitely a new venture that's uh, going to increase your money. Wow, two aces in a row. That's good. Ace of Swords. On the Seven of Wands. So that Ace of Swords is basically a double yes. And it's a massive yes to defending yourself. I mean, I'm going to say, be wary of any other air sign, Libra, possibly a Gemini or Aquarius. Um, but looks like you're getting some help from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn and a Pisces Cancer Scorpio as well. Because I'm getting good energy from water and fire. Water and fire. One puts the other one out, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, Libra. Take care. Peace be the journey. Lots of love. Click. Forever though. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.